everyone. Welcome back to the Breaksway at Western Fair District, London, Ontario. Half mile harness racing action for you tonight. Uh, let's look at an HBI play of the day right now. Let's go up to race number five. Got a big circle around number three. Mossy's are just missed here last time. That was Friday night where he finished second by head. Was race time in 158 and three. It's a missing line. You don't have it. I will give it out through the program changes. Uh, we'll take a closer look at this one in the second part of the pregame show. I think look looks ready to handle those in race number five. Number three, Mossy's Art. Getting some pretty good value there as well. It's the early pick three play. Starting in race number one, we'll call it the TVG pick three play. TVG picks up our first five races tonight with all ten featured on HPI. So playing in some very nice pools in the early going here. Opening leg of the early pick three using a one. Make it a three and four. There we go. Use a three and four. Hal and Sammy, the Lorian Seals, they're kind of jumping off the page in there. Most likely winner tonight could be the four. Crazy Luke Duke. At a post four, race number two comes in off of Woodbine Mohawk Park. Flambro stint, Andrew McCabe conditions. Colin Kelly, one of our leading drivers here through recent weeks, on board the four. Crazy Luke Duke in race two. And get over to the third race. Number three, GM Amanda Min. It's a nice pace here. Just got to behave. Second best in his qualifier back. Beach Major, another one. Just has to stay pacing, and the five smart thinkings. My plan C for an early pick three. Early pick four starts in that third race. Stay with the three, four, and five. Race number four, it's the five, hope to be first. Is going to try for five in a row. And then you've got Regal Mac going out for Sheldon Rose. Colin Kelly on board, a sharp winner last time out over Flamborough on a good track, 57 flat. Getting over to race five, it's a two, three, four. Complete it. Five deep in race six, the early high five opportunity. Race seven, starting up a late pick four. It's changed up. I was going to key in on the four, bring home the blue, and that is a key scratch from race seven. Scratch the four, so that leaves me to an all button. We're four deep in the eighth. Key in on number six, boom, boom, Bally Key. Oh, certainly knows his way to the winner's circle here in London. It's another all button for race number 10. Nothing at all jumping off the page in the finale. Taking a short break right now, but if you got some comments or suggestions, love to hear from you. Greg Blanchard, Greg Gango, myself. There's our email contact info. Hey, give me a follow on Twitter tonight at Sugar Doyle. Join the conversation. There's more to come on race day. HPIBet.com. Access, rewards, and more. Hey, welcome back to a Monday pregame at the Raceway. Half Mile Harness Racing Action. Ten races this evening. First five featured on the TVG Network. All ten on HPI. Best of luck from wherever you're playing from. Wagering menu for this evening. Setting up like this. Low 15% takes on pick threes, pick fours, and high five plays. The go-to wagers. They are the TVG pick three play right up front in the opener. Always a $2,500 guarantee pool. We always guarantee our pick four plays at $5,000. They begin tonight in races three and seven. High fives are featured in races six and ten. Race six at a mile. Race ten at a mile and a sixteenth. Now with a featured $5,000 guaranteed pool in the finale. Low 15% take on all of our go-to wagers. Here's some averages thus far. Actually, yeah, let's stick with the 20 cent payouts. These recent 20 cent payouts in London had a couple of high fives this past week. Night after night, back to back nights, $4,000 plus in the high five finale. There's been some real nice super effective pays as well. Through late February, we had one just shy of $4,000 on the 26th, the day before. 20 cent super, 1700 Even another one there for just over a grand back on. 
February 22nd. It pays to bet the raceway. And uh, now we'll get a look at some go-to wager averages. This is thus far in 2019, so all through January and February. Average early pick three pool has been over $5,000. It's an average 20 cent payout of 38 for the pick fours. The pick four pool averages just shy of $12,000. The average 20 cent payout, 151. And here we go for the high five. This is all through 2019, two months of racing. Just shy of $9,000, the average pool, and that average 20 cent payout day after day. 1,303. Again, that is, that is an average payout for 20 cents, over $1,300 on the high five all through January and February. It pays to bet the raceway. Now we've got to talk about who's been hot. As far as drivers go, Colin Kelly's been heating things up in a big way. Over the last five racing days, both Colin Kelly and Brett McDonald put up good numbers. Travis Henry is uh, seven wins as well. Top average for Travis through those five race days. Scott Ray continues to plug right along there. Rob Shepard rounding out the top five for drivers over the last five race days. As far as trainers go over the last five days, Ron McDonald. Nobody's doing it better than Ron right now, winning at over 50%, I believe. He's got four victories over the last five race days, maintains the top average. Then we've got Fred Borgo, Richard Morrow, Kyle Bossens, and how about Steve Bossens going two for two of late? That's all right. So we do have a play of the day, and it's back in race number five, and it's the three Mossies are. Now she's showing, uh, or he's showing, uh, nothing but two minute miles, and um, well, there's one there below, 59 and three there about a month ago. But I'll tell you what. Paced a big one here on Friday night. We're going to highlight him here. You can sit him, see him sitting third. Buckeyes Rock is leading. Sports Tales up and at him. Now angled three deep here. Brett McDonald sending Moss E's Art. And here they are at three quarters and 128 flat. And up on the three wide side, Moss E's Art coming big time. Way up on the outside. There's Scott Ray showing up late with Stonebridge Guard. But down the stretch they come, so it's Sports Tail, teamed along by Travis Henry. Mossy's Art is there with Brett McDonald. Stone Bridge Guard coming to them as well, finishes third. Coming out on top with Sports Tail, but right there with him second. Mossy's Art, second by a head in 158 and three. And if you look at race number five, the whole page, there's nothing in here showing a trip in 58 over London. That's a big mile for Mossy's Art for trainer Tisha Sive. It's going to be Jay Harris going back on board. You're getting four to one in the morning line. Have to make that one the play of the day. A key play for leg three of an early pick four, but a big circle around number three, Mossy's Art. You just saw him finish second in 58 and change here on Friday night. That is a missing line, not showing up in the program. It will be announced prior to us uh, getting underway this evening. Alrighty, let's go back and do some recapping now. So pick three, pick four playing. It's the TVG pick three play right up front. Going to use Hal and Sammy from post three of the four. DeLorean Sealster to kick it off. Key in on number four. Crazy Luke Duke. That's another live play for Colin Kelly today. Third race. It's either the three, four, or five. This three, JM Mandamin, just has to behave. It does have a lot of talent but uh, has had some braking issues here for trainer Jerry Sims. Scott Young gets the catch driving assignment on number three, J.M. Mandamin in race number three. That third race does kick start the early pick four. Stay with the same three. Fourth race, going to go for the streaking hope to be first, drop trying for five in a row. And then you've got Regal Mack from the outside post. Sheldon Rose took over the training duties from this one last time out. Wired up the field over Flamborough. Good track. 57 flat. Those are the two to back in race four. And in the fifth race, we just had a good look at that three. Mossy's Art. Very tough to ignore after, the, after that second place finish. 158 and three on Friday night. Can also include the two and four, but I guess can't see them beating three in race number five. We're five deep in race six. Two complete. That early pick four, it's a late pick four, starting up in the seventh. And a key scratch, I was going to key in on uh, number four, bring home the blue in race number seven. I've just been told that's a late scratch now, so after that, anything's possible. The all button 
It's going to work for me to get things underway in the seventh. Eighth race, scratch the one. Another one for Tim Myers comes out. Use a two, three, six, and seven. Had to keep the price down somehow, so I went to one that knows his way to the winner's circle. 37-time winner, Boom Boom Balakiel. Alfie Carroll goes back on board for the trainer, Richard Morrow. He's my key in the ninth. Number six, Boom Boom Balakiel. And if we get over to the 10th with those, we're going to cash because it's another all button. Again, nothing really jumping off the page in the finale. The high five. Field of nine, a distance of a mile and a sixteenth, and now with a $5,000 guaranteed pool. Cameraman Trev, stand by. What do you got for Trev? 96. That's a boom, boom, valley keel. Cameraman Trev definitely knows all about boom, boom, valley keel. Sees he's reuniting with the driver, Alfie Carroll. Alfie uh, made the trip to the winner's circle here in London many a time with boom, boom, valley keel and against top class threats and uh, gets a little bit of class relief in here. He's been facing preferred two throughout the month of January and into February and uh, now he gets backed off a bit but must overcome that post six with the cameraman's play and my key to a late pick four, number six, Boom Boom Valley Keel, race number nine. It's pub night, top of the fair, no reservation required, fabulous pub style menu. And a great spot to watch the racing action from. Survivor Tuesday continues tomorrow. Always free to play, online or on track. A chance for you to win through HBI Bet and Western Fair District closing boards. All you need is on our website, westernfairdistrict.com slash raceway. Free programs, selections, video replays, and more. We've got 10 races getting underway at 6.15 Eastern. And again, first five featured on the TVG Network. All 10 and HPI. Best of luck from wherever you're playing from. I mean it.